this is Dominical. It's a small little beach town. How do I describe this? Um, okay, this is not the main road. This is the road that parallels the beach and it's quite well well worked out, if you will. You get to Dominical. We were staying in Baru. Now, Dominic, I should back up a little bit. Dominical is on the southern Pacific side. It's a great uh, surfer community. Uh, they even have lifeguards with, with a um, um, uh, jet ski to save you, if you will, because there are apparently some, some pretty strong riptides, but they also have very good waves. And there's uh, plenty of places to rent uh, surf equipment from. Uh, word of caution, uh, I do say that I think, I think the, place, uh, uh, the places that rent the equipment, they look at renting boards as their ATM and they really look at your surfboard when you bring it back and they're going to charge you for every little ping and ding. So word of caution. Um, let's say five to ten bucks, I think five dollar rental on the uh, boogie boards and ten dollars on the surfboard. Some other places will, will have a double price but you can find uh, reasonable five and ten dollars that's kind of the, the proper rate. We are here at the um, low season. Uh, the beach is nice. Okay, this is kind of a neat little place. Uh, uh, we went looking for another surfboard and we stopped off at this place that offered uh, smoothies. It's at the southern end of the beach. Uh, Well-known place that's known for its smoothies. They, they uh, always ask for no sugar. For whatever reason in Costa Rica they like to put sugar in their smoothies. Go figure. And that's a fruit, fruit smoothie by the way. So here we are. Uh, kids just got some boogie boards and and the oldest Emerson got a surfboard and he did pretty darn good um, the waves here are kind of understood to be a little bit more more consistent and that's why it really is sort of known to be a surfing place um, nice beach um, it's a little bit on the rougher side if you will um, uh, Dominical is not for Mr. and Mrs. Dallas looking for the resort type of experience. We looked at maybe a half a dozen, maybe four rental places like right downtown. And when I say downtown, downtown is a, uh, you're on the pave, on the main road and you turn right and it quickly turns into a dirt uh, blown out road with pretty big potholes and the downtown it's uh, really congested lots of cars not a lot of places to park it's one of those mayhem fine parking wherever you can not a lot of uh, uh, supervision if you will some of the hotels we looked at were definitely on the rough side and you're paying a pretty pretty good premium for so don't expect this to be a real fancy place if you're a hipster and you want to sort of uh, disappear and uh, this would be not a bad place to kind of do that. Um, what else about this place? Uh, uh, I mean, it does have everything you need. I mean, it's got a nice little grocery store. There's even a f uh, place that sells fresh fruit and vegetables as soon as you get off of the highway. Uh, I mean, surfboards and, and rentals are there. Uh, they've got lifeguards, which interestingly, my son was out there and bang, he got, he got nailed by something and I watched him uh, explode in pain and I thought, holy, holy boy, maybe he got hit by a stingray and they call stingrays manta rays there. At any rate, uh, the lifeguard was like real cool. He came by, took a look at, look at his foot and fortunately it was a crab bite of all things. But there are times of the year that you can be here and they do have manta rays. This, this wasn't the time of the year so he wasn't real concerned about it but he looked at the wound and said no, that, that looks more like a uh, uh, crab so don't worry about it. It did hurt him and, and he did draw blood so they're, they're not lightweight uh, crabs and this really wasn't the season for crabs uh, but you know we just uh, percentages he got he got hit by one there's Emerson he's again he he did a pretty good job of, of getting up on on the board uh, the surf's not real big um, but but it's pretty cool it's 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 a nice learning uh, place to learn uh, the ways aren't real big and they're f fairly spaced out far enough apart that you can you can get up and you can get some some uh, handle on it we ended up uh, the next beach at Hako uh, uh, there was a, t a guy was teaching classes and I paid for classes for everybody and it actually really did help I thought. 
So that was pretty cool. Emerson ended up breaking one of the fins on the t on the surfboard, and the guy charged him only ten bucks. I thought that was actually pretty good. So, uh, in terms of accommodations, you know, we stayed at Baru, uh, which is Hacienda Baru, which is connected to a wildlife reserve, which is really chilled, very quiet, very peaceful. I mean, nice grounds, and I, I, you know, if you if you don't want to be in the middle of a lot of noise and a lot of cars and a lot of people uh, that's a very good option and it's only probably what maybe seven minutes uh, down the road uh, from Dominical and connected to Dominical is Little Dominical it's another beach and it's not as uh, good for waves but I think the surf is known to be a little bit better but anyway we, we, we had fun here and probably would have stayed a, a couple of days we would have rented directly from and stayed in the, in the Dominical